So based on the fact that we know what the nearest neighbor distance should be under the random case, we're going to introduce this index, the standardized nearest neighbor index. We're going to denote it by r. And it's just the ratio of the observed nearest neighbor, uh, nearest neighbor distance average to the one that we expect to see if the data were random. And if our data are if our data are more clustered than random, then NND, NND bar is going to go down if our data is clustered. Because remember, in the extreme case, NND bar equals 0 for an extreme clustering. And that means that R is going to go towards 0 when the data get more and more clustered. If the data are random, then this ratio equals 1, because then our empirical nearest neighbor distance matches the theoretical one under the random case. And if the data are uniform, well then we saw that in the uniform case, um, the nearest neighbor distance is actually larger. So if we look at, at the random case, the nearest neighbor distance is 1 over 2 root density. And here it's 1.07 divided by root density in the uniform case. And clearly, this is much larger than, so the, in the random case, you had 1 over 2 root density. And clearly, uh, this is much larger. This is larger than that. Because, well, the, one, the tops are almost the same. But over here, you've, you've got a 2. And over here, you, you don't have anything. So the nearest neighbor distance in the random case is smaller than it is in the uh, uniform case. and the biggest difference that, that we can have, at least expressed in this ratio term, is 2.149. So if nearest neighbor distance increases, that implies uniformity. And R is going to go to the maximum level is 2.149. So again, here is just a summary. For R equals 0, that means that the data are perfectly clustered. For r equals 1, perfectly random. And for r equals 2.149, it's perfectly dispersed. And then for values in between, we say if it's between 0 and 1, that the data are more clustered than random. So slight, it's more, we don't know how much more, but it's more clustered than random. And if it's between 1 and 2.149, we say it's more uniform or more dispersed than random. And just like before, we want to be able to say, well, at what point are, are, is the uh, nearest neighbor distance statistically different to the nearest neighbor distance that we would obtain if the data were random? This is like making the leap from uh, just describing a sample statistic to using that sample statistic uh, to make some inference about the population. And in this case, it's a very standard test where it's, uh, we can normalize the nearest neighbor distance. Okay, we're going to normalize it into a z-score. And then we, can, we know how the z-score is distributed, so we can use the normal curve to conduct a hypothesis test on a z-score. So in this case, the null hypothesis is just that the, uh, the data are random, so that NND bar equals NND bar r. And we can have three different alternatives. It can just be a non-directional case where NND bar is not uh, the same. Or NND bar can be greater than NND bar R, where we have a more dispersed. So the alternative is that there's more dispersion than there is randomness. Or we can have a left tail test to see if NND bar is significantly less than, and then, than the random case, in which case we have um, a clustering alternative hypothesis. So, you know, just thinking about it graphically for a second, if you have the normal curve, we're going to have an NND over here. Uh, that's going to be a z equals 0, and that's, that's where NND bar r is. Okay, so that's the null hypothesis. And what we are going to be looking for is is the NND bar that we actually um, obtain from our sample, that one over there, when we convert it into a z-score, is that z-score going to be out in one of these tails? In which case we know that it's different to the random case, or is it in this zone of 
acceptance in here, in which case there's not enough evidence to tell us that it's any different to, to this um, random case. So in order to standardize the nearest neighbor statistic, we just uh, subtract from the empirical, uh, like the raw nearest neighbor distance, so the empirical one that we calculate from our points, we subtract from that the expected NND if random. So it's like an X bar minus a mu. This is the null hypothesis value of NND. NND bar equals NND bar R. And then we're going to divide by the standard error of the uh, average nearest neighbor distances. And that's just a formula, this one over here. So we just take these numbers, that's just the sample size, the number of points, and that's the density of the points. And when we calculate, uh, when we evaluate this expression, well, that gives us a standardized z-score that we can then test to see uh, where it lies in the standard normal probability curve.